What's up, YouTube? Hefe coming to you, Captain Awesome's Fish Room. Jeff Chroma's Bro Vibe, bringing y'all a neat little video today. Got a couple corals today. Well, I'm sorry. I got one coral and one anemone today. And you're looking at the anemone that I got. Uh, now, <clears throat> this is a carpet anemone, but it's not your larger carpet anemone. This is one of the maxi minis or miniature carpets. Uh, it's really exciting. Uh, it's a pink and orange maxi mini. Uh, really excited about it. These guys like to be on rocks, whereas uh, the larger carpet anemones bury themselves uh, through the sand onto the glass at the bottom of the tank. They use their foot to dig and then attach themselves to the glass on the bottom of the tank. Uh, now, I just put this guy in here, and he's already starting to open up. Uh, he seems to like this rock right here because he hasn't moved much. Uh, he keeps rocking back and forth. I think he's just trying to find his place. But, get ready for some awesomeness. Because no longer do you have to look at these videos of mine inside the reef tank with these blue lights and not be able to see correctly. Check this out. Oh, 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 that is awesome. Finally got my filters in. Uh, and as you can see, they work very well. Uh, they're really, really cool. I got them for three bucks. I got uh, a bunch of different cuts of uh, different, I guess, uh, shades. Um, so depending on how intense the blues are uh, is how dark you go. Uh, this one here is perfect for the for the blues that I have on right now just for showing y'all um, a few corals uh, Turn the lights on. I think my blues max out at about 60 or 70 percent uh, And I have my whites maxing out at about 26 percent um, But yeah, so this is the carpet anemone that I got the maxi mini um, you can see a lot of the colors in it. Uh, you can see some purples, oranges, and pinks, uh, and a lot of greens and blues as well. Um, this is a what you see is what you get uh, purchase that I made, and uh, the colors will get better. Um, I mean, the color that it has on it now are pretty much the colors it's going to have. Um, but yeah, I mean, they'll, they'll intensify a little bit. Looks like this guy's fixing to split though. Of course not from being in my tank, but you can see there's two mouths there. Um, he may have started splitting in the in the guy's tank that I bought him from. Uh, but I want to zoom around here. Uh, we'll try to take this with us here. And show y'all a few other corals. Here's my uh, zoanthids right here. <clears throat> you can't see a lot of them because the rock work kind of hides them unless you're actually looking at the tank It's kind of hard to get it on camera uh, You can see my frog spawn back there a lot of these guys aren't opened up uh, But later once my lights turn on and stay on for a few hours uh, Like I said, I just turned these on so I could show y'all a few things um, You know, I'll show them to you when they're all opened up. I got a lot of new acros You can see right here if I can get it to focus here. Come on, baby, focus. Come on. Focus. There we go. Uh, right in the front here is the green, and then right behind that is uh, a really pale purple with really purple tips. Uh, and we'll move along here. You can see another little piece of acro right there. It's not showing up very well. Um, you can see my bird's nest back there with the really beautiful greens. And then right behind that is another bird's nest. And then you can see my encrusting gorgonio on the back wall there. Right there is a Montipora. Uh, it's the Christmas Montipora. See a clownfish right over there. Uh, we'll come down here, and this is one of my favorites. Uh, there's my sun coral, but here's one of the my new favorites that I just got Now this is called an orange leptoceros or Halloween leptoceros and as you can see this thing is Gorgeous now. It's a it's kind of a pricey coral um, 
for the size that you're looking at, uh, that's about $150 to $200 piece. Um, I am growing it out for the shop, uh, so I've been, you know, entrusted with it and um, very lucky to have this. this. is one of my favorite, personally, one of my personal favorites uh, right here, the Leptoceros. And I may, I may not be saying that right, but y'all know how coral names are. They can get kind of like fish names, so... Uh, you can see my sun coral back there. He's doing well, growing. Uh, we'll move up. I'm trying to keep this film with us here. Uh, there's my torch right there. And then here's my second anemone, my rose bubble tip. Uh, you can see the porcelain crab or anemone crab on there hanging out. Uh, then you can see one of my um, yellow clown gobies. And then you can see Acropora Mountain here. I uh, got a bunch of different acros. That blue one, that big colony to your left there, uh, one of my favorites. Um, and then uh, you can see some other ones there. Uh, that one that's right, right almost in the center of the screen there is a green and pink colored acro. The one right beside that is a blue acro. Uh, and then moving up, uh, that big piece that's encrusted on the plug, uh, that's another green acro. It's a really beautiful lime green uh, kind of color. And then there's a little piece right to the side of that, and that's a rainbow. Uh, that's actually a millipora. millipora. Uh, and then moving up, uh, a couple more milliporas, and then a couple more acros on the very top there. Um, now we'll come on down and... Oh, getting a little battery, so we're going to have to end this soon. You can see another, um, oh, that pink and green one right in the front there in the center of the screen is actually a, tab a tabling acro, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it'll actually, I mean, it still branches, but it's going to table out. Um, there's another millipora, or montipora, sorry. Um... It's a Montipore there, that's an all green one. And then moving down, you can see my metallic orange mushroom and my kryptonite candy coral right there. Uh, that's a beautiful green color. And just to give you an idea of what it looks like without this filter on the phone, check this out. Look at that. Isn't that so much better? But yeah, guys, so... Um, this is today's update. Here, let me get you a full tank shot with the with the filter on there. If I can hold it without getting my fingers in the screen. Uh, I'm gonna rig up a way to do this so I don't have to have to hold it. Um, I have a few ideas of how I'm gonna do it. You can see that carpet moved. But uh, yeah, so um, for those of you wondering, I've gotten a lot of questions lately. Uh, no, I am no longer with Aquatic Support Systems. Um, for whatever we reason, we just uh, went our separate ways. Uh, no harm, no foul. We're all still friends. But, um, yeah, so... forgot to show you all the bubble coral. Check that guy out. Brian, this is for you, buddy. Look at that. I don't know if you like the green ones, but... It's a bubble. Um, there's the Rasta zoanthids. Let me try to fix this here. There we go. There's some Rasta zoanthids. But yeah, so no longer with aquatic support systems. Um, I do have a lot of new things going. Um, let me try to get this focused here. Uh, the 300 gallon is almost done. I've been having some problems with the four inch bulkheads. But uh, it's almost done, and it's almost ready for Big Rig, so stay tuned for that. Um, do have a new food. Uh, also have a new sponsor, those of you that follow me on Facebook. Um, I'm now sponsored by Seakim, so that's really cool. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to... I'm, I should have figured out a way to do this before I made the video, but... Um, here are my clownfish. If y'all have any ideas for some names for these guys, uh, let me know down inside the comments. Um, we'll see what we can do for the winner, uh, whoever picks the winning name. Uh, it'll be chosen by me. Uh, so 
Uh, if you have a good name, of course, male and female, because eventually one of these guys is going to turn male, or I'm sorry, one of these guys is going to turn female. Oh, also got some, um, a couple different varieties of pulsating zinnias back there. Uh, th that's exciting. Um, I've already named this anemone Harold, my rose bubble tip. Um, but yeah, so anybody has any name ideas uh, for my onyx? Picasso clownfish. Um, let me know down in the comments, and if you win, I'll send you something. Um, if you keep reef tanks, maybe I'll send you a frag. Uh, if you keep freshwater tanks, uh, maybe I'll send you a little food, or you know, I'll send you something. Uh, so yeah, a little, a little tiny contest there. If you watch to the end of the video, uh, if you have some name suggestions, uh, classy ones. Um, you know, I don't want like Spike and Kill Arena or something like that. But uh, yeah, if you have some good name ideas, throw them down inside the comments. And if I choose your um, name suggestion, then you'll win something. So with that said, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all are thinking. This is what I'm doing. This is what I've done. Happy fish keeping and stay true to the hobby. Peace out.